Race number 15, Singapore. Well, of course it was something very unusual and, uh, and it, it feels quite cool. It, it, actually, the, the vision from and visibility from the car is, is fantastic. You don't really have any, any problems with the, with the shadows or any shades or any, 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 um, any what do you call it, glare? Or what do you call it? Like glare. a glare, yeah, from the, from the lights. So it actually was relatively straightforward. We had a lot of concerns before the weekend. And uh, I think it just looks very cool. Though. The cars look fantastic in that sort of night light and with the with the big uh, big spotlights, you know, uh, pointing to the track. I think the, all the cars they look fantastic. They look really uh, really um, better than even before. Leaving Europe, uh, you know, normally I'd I'd leave earlier and was was trying to adjust uh, to the local time, but now um, this uh, this race obviously takes place at night and everything is, is still actually staying in the European time. So that's what I do there. I keep my body clock in the European time. Um, I'll always organize a, a hotel room that is, I can black out and I can get some artificial lights whenever I need to. So I, I, I try to keep European time and keep the middle rhythm exactly as I get in Europe. And I normally leave actually to that race very late. So I'll leave as late as possible to make sure that the body doesn't try to adapt to the, the condition because eventually it will he will try to adapt to the, the lights and the, the sort of mood that is, is in there. So um, this is how I prepare for this race and it's worked out fantastic in the last two years. I've had no problems and I feel you know, 110% uh, shape when the race started and the qualifying started. So I'll keep, uh, keep that kind of planning uh, or even for this year. We have a lot of uh, fantastic partners, you know, we have a lot of guests that you know, we really want to see. And uh, also uh, the good thing about Lotus events is always that they're quite cool events, you know, they are reasonably casual events, you know, funny events that are actually quite nice to attend. I, I, don't, I don't really uh, need to take any extra stress about these kind of events, so, so for me it's very, very easy actually to, to fit those into my schedule. And, you know, beforehand, before we go there, you know, my physio is talking to the team and, and going through the programs and, and, you know, making sure that the schedule is is uh, you know the, the main focus is targeted to the race. You know, obviously, uh, we do we do everything else as well. But you know, the priority is is the 110 percent preparation for the race and the, all the session. And um, it's no no different there. It, it's a busier weekend in terms of um, marketing events and uh, and the partner events. But uh, it's it's very well organized by the team. So for me, I don't really need to worry about it too much. I mean, the circuit itself. Uh, it's, it's a very nice circuit apart from it being bumpy um, and the both years that we've been there now they have not been able to improve the bumpiness and it's, it's not just the small bumps it's some hardcore jumps that you know is really you know some of the drivers were, were injured their backs and you know because we sit so low and it's, it's so so hard the suspension of the car there's not so much comfort in those cars and, and the bumps were such that you know it was it was really uh, getting to a point where uh, drivers were getting injured so let's see how they've done this year if they've been able to improve the bumpiness of the circuit I think then it's uh, it's fantastic place it's a really nice street circuit and and a race that I really enjoy physically very tough and, uh, and also tough for the cars but uh, we're fully prepared